All right, so now that the front brakes and front suspension are pretty much done, I'm waiting on one QA shock to come back in from JEGS. I decided to put the car on four wheels, which I don't think I've ever had it on four wheels on video before, but this is, if, if not, this is the first time this car has been on four wheels since 1993, 94, 95, somewhere around there. So those are the original wheels with some free tires that I got from a buddy. And I put the car up on these cribbing blocks just to make it easier to work on underneath, getting the headers in, running some transmission line, maybe mounting the fuel cell, something like that. So I have, uh, you know, two and a half, three feet of clearance underneath there that makes it a lot easier to work on and uh, kind of gets the car up out of the way. So um, I finally mounted the intake manifold. It's just held on with three bolts right now, but um, the stainless steel fasteners that I got from Bolt Depot seem to work perfectly. And um, the washers that I got locally actually fit this countersink perfectly. So it's gonna work out real nice. I didn't put more in because I need to chase the holes in the cylinder head. Um, I don't know if the factory used some sort of sealant or something, but they're a little bit tight. And uh, this uh, this one I chased, it went in real nice and smooth. So I'll, uh, I'll just do the rest of them later. I'm not gonna be picking the engine up with this. Um, so I'm not too worried about clamping that down, but uh, it kind of gives you an idea of what, uh, what type of hood clearance I'm gonna need, or I'm gonna get with this intake. It's gonna be close, I think. Fenders sit on top of this rail, so hopefully, with the snorkel hood and the fenders all mounted and everything. I don't have a clearance issue with a, a throttle body. AccuFab makes kind of a low profile one that's a one and a half inch that I might have to go to, but uh, I'm pretty happy with how how low the, the motor is sitting in there. So um, took advantage of a sale for TTI headers. Um, they're gonna get ordered, uh, or they should be here at some point this week. Um, they're going to be one and three quarter inch primaries with a three inch collector. And the reason why I didn't go with the two inch uh, primaries is because I'm going to have a low mount air conditioner on here. And TTI says that will not fit their two inch. But um, I don't think I'm going to be giving up too much horsepower, if anything, with, with a, a totally stock 6.4, uh, maybe down the road. But at this point, driving this car with air conditioning is a, is much uh, is is much higher on my on my priority list. So underneath, I mean, you can see how much space it, it, that we have. I think I will have no problem getting those headers in, um, even with the torsion bars in. Um, hoping uh, they slide right up in there. I don't think any of the pipes go over here. I don't think they're two inch or a two piece design. So um, get a good shot of the Steph's oil pan. Much 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 nicer than alternatives that I've seen. I'm super pumped that I got this. Nice thick pan rail, not gonna leak. Um, really happy with that. So um, today I'm gonna be putting in the Borgensen power steering box. Um, it's gonna go right here. I don't anticipate it will affect getting the headers in, but worst case, I can always pull it right back out. It's only three bolts. Um, but then once I get that in, I'll be able to have some control over the, the steering. Right now the wheels move independently and it's kind of a, um, I guess it doesn't matter because I'm not going to be moving the car, but it still, it's something that needs to get done. So, so here is the stock steering box and it is a monster. Um, it is huge. It weighs a ton, and here's I guess here's how it would sit inside of the car, just like that. But it's it's pretty hefty. Uh, I didn't weigh it. The scales upstairs. And I don't feel like going to get it, but I, I know it weighs a ton, and it's getting replaced with this Borgensen unit. It's smaller. It weighs less. Um, Fourteen to one steering ratio versus sixteen to one. Um, the big reason why I decided to swap over to the new unit is because I am assuming this is good, but I, I would want to go through it and make sure before I got it into the car and everything buttoned down. And, um, I just don't want to, uh, 
put something in the car without knowing it's right. And even if I did rebuild this one, I would still end up with 1971 technology when this is available, brand new, better, um, everything in it's new. And every dollar that I put into something old like this is a dollar I could have put towards just buying something that's better. And keeping in mind exactly what I'm doing with this car, I don't care about OE restoration. I care about uh, making it drive nice within reason. So uh, before I put that in though, I'm gonna have to swap this Pitman arm. Um, I don't know if they sell these. I know they're. I know one time they did and they were super expensive, but I'm gonna have to see if I can find a link for these just in case they, they start making them. This one seems to be pretty good though. I think they were, it was replaced uh, whenever we got the car and this was all taken apart. So let's do some swapping. While we're in here, you can get a decent look at the motor mounts. Um, I don't remember the part numbers, but I'm pretty sure these are, or at least I hope they are, for the headers that are ordered. I went with Morosa solid mounts here, though, because I'm not a huge fan of those poly rubber bushing mounts, and they're super expensive. So I can't imagine, um, for me anyway, why the rubber ones would be better. Maybe. A little bit more comfortable ride you don't feel the engine twisting dampens some of the movement but holy smokes this is still heavy
and it is in. Um, definitely see how number one header would be pretty uh pretty tight up in there. This is uh this is pretty close, but it, it's got to be more room than the other one. The other one was massive, and uh, I don't know. I'm I'm still I still think this is the way to go if you're going to do this swap because of how low these headers headers go. Um, I actually have another car that uh, that is also power steering, and if all goes well with this, that one might be getting a very similar. Uh, set up because the box on that car is super super loose and I know it's adjustable let's see who this is it was the best spot where I had it um the other box on that car is super super loose and it's like driving a school bus and that probably attributes to a brake issue that I had referenced in another video um let me grab steering but let's go ahead and Take a look at uh, what it looks like from above. Nice little Borgerton nameplate. Give you an idea of exactly how much clearance is under here. If I can get the, the stuff, I don't know what that is. Stuck on the threads. Um, still have your return, high pressure. Um, once we probably won't mess with lines until after I get the um, everything taken apart um, probably gonna put a reservoir over here standalone pump um, the pump that I have with this car it's buried um, the truck cover came out like this and it clocked it a certain way. Well, these holes are where it's clocked in a vehicle or in a car. If I put the pump on those three, the reservoir goes off like this. So it won't work. But I'm thinking if I can take the reservoir off that pump, because I'm pretty sure it's the same pump. I can mount the reservoir on this side firewall or this uh, inner fender well here. Two real short lines. And I think I'll be good. Um... So yeah, you can kind of see why TTI probably says the two inches uh, primary headers will not work because man, is that tight. It's better that it's, it's still tight, so.